Established in 2001, SPH Media Works is the second TV broadcasting station in Singapore. The pilot channel, Channel U, is the second Mandarin television station in Singapore. The channel quickly gained popularity by airing famous overseas productions. Providing local viewers with more variety, they eventually garnered more viewership than their then competitor, MediaCorp Channel 8. Due to lack of facilities and expertise, MediaWorks could only produce a limited number of local productions, including Together Whenever, the first homosexual drama produced locally. In 2004, Zero is the last drama produced by SPH MediaWorks before its closure. When there were two stations, they were just a bit more uh, innovative with the shows that they were pulling out. I find it actually quite good because um, in a way it was spur competition and we always get the best drama. So at that time, we are all visited on either of our local channels. So there's a lot of attention, so we are flipping around. Because sometimes you want to watch one program after another, right? And if the two programs happen to come together, then, then you're at a loss. You have to choose one rather than having to uh, watch uh, both at different timings. They should uh, just focus on one channel and pull all their resources, their celebrities, all the artists in one channel. Of course, they can do another channel, it's just purely repeated shows. On 17 September 24, SPH MediaWorks announced their merger with MediaCorp Singapore. The merger between two stations was inevitable as Singapore TV market is small. On 1st January 25, SPH MediaWorks had its tearful ceremony and concluded with a closed down sign up. Channel I had ceased transmission while Channel U is now run by MediaCorp TV. As you know, it is our last bulletin tonight. After about three and a half years on air, this will be the very last time we're bringing the news into your living rooms. In a couple of hours, the entire Channel I will go off air and cease transmission. I, I like to you. I thought that was more independent. They had a different flavour. Um, Medium core has kind of like more stereotype, more... It's kind of bland, you know? So when everything merged, it's like... I kind of like lost interest in watching. <laughs> Actually, we don't see a difference before and after merging. It's still the same. The company that is overlooking both entities, I, I don't think they make any difference to the consumers. Now. As a consumer, I think what you want to do is just to watch the programs. Really. And as long as there's option, it's good. I think it's like more choices for us. Yeah, and I think for Channel U, I think they are more uh, focused on variety shows yeah, rather than drama. So I think there is actually a differentiation between Channel 8 and Channel U. After the merger, Channel U's program were adjusted to avoid clashes with Channel 8. Now, Channel 8 mainly broadcasts local dramas, while Channel U focuses more on variety shows and overseas productions. I think, I think they put in a lot more effort uh, to actually reach out to the audience. I mean, there, there were definitely very good shows back then when we were younger. We had Hong Kong and the Got Dou Fu Jian on there, which were all focused on... Go even on... further back. <laughs> the the Feng Shen Ba, Chou Yi Ka Da Xia and stuff. Uh, yeah, those were the yeah, yeah, shows yeah, yeah, yeah. when we were kids. Yeah. 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 Our attention is split between this and other options out there. So a lot of times we don't really watch the local TVs anymore. Like, especially now after the merger, right, there's this um, um, Sing MSN. Right? So if, let's say you miss the uh, TV programs, you can actually go on the website and uh, watch again. Uh. But now yeah. I think it's always the same. Exploring social issues, which is also good, uh, but it'd be nice to see like something different. Yeah. The year of 2013 marks the 50 years of Singapore television. For the past 50 years, Singapore TV had provided us with fond memories through many TV programs. However, we are now exposed to more channels of entertainment. Local TV is thus facing much more competition from cable TV and digital media. So, what do you expect to see in the next 50 years?